And now, The Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Just a couple of friends talking. I always forget that we don't ever listen to the song, and then sometimes I check in to Ticks and Leeches, and it's like, is this appropriate? This song's cool to start the show, but then you listen to the lyrics, and you're like, is this guy okay? Actually, is this the reprise? Is What's happening? Are, are, are we this mad when we start? Maynard, do you need help? You're all bruised and battered. I've already, and uh, I think we could tease this. I think we talked about enough to tease it in some fashion for next year's season uh, four of the bonfire would be yeah i don't think we have teased this we haven't talked to it up no before. we have i said we, i think we can yeah okay. we can we can absolutely tease it. it's our show we can do whatever the fuck we want by the way our show is the bonfire i'm dan soda that's big j okerson and hey. this is comedy central radio series xm 95 you know that though that's where this is lost tapes so formalities are for monday through wednesday <laughs> yeah this isn't live this you is can't call and complain about it no act like you're you're listening to the show like you're not looking directly at the weekend. This is a yeah. This is a, a hilarious uh, sandwich we're in though. We got the fugues and then uh, everybody else who works at Sirius XM crammed into the high heat studio. Uh, I don't know what the fuck they're watching? Who's Can anybody the- find out? Black Lou. They won't get mad if you walk in. All another try- person of color. They're trying to learn a new program that's coming to Sirius. So oh. it's all the producers on music are trying to. Uh, I didn't know there was also. Oh, that's that's only one high heat. I'm stupid. I thought there was two high heat studios, and then I realized that we're usually looking at the front end of it in our studio, where Fugel sang, who I've never noticed that Tattletail in the gang, he looks like a professor that sleeps with his students. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a guy that's kind of like, well, you know, Rochelle, if you come into my office hours, we can probably get that grade from a <laughs> C to a B. I, never- uh, I don't... I don't know. Oh, it's like, have you ever had white Zinfandel during the day? I can't, I'm really young for that, but I know. But there's always time to grow up. I mean, I guess now's as good a time as any. Oh, I notice you. You're wearing a skirt today. You look very mature. I love you on page six TV. Thank you. I right, we had to go our own ways. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I went at Jacob's face every time we do this. I don't do it to me. I do it for two reasons. I don't do it to stir shit. I do it to make Jay laugh, and I do it to watch your face crumble under anger. We go, HR's going to talk to me, guys. Tattletail and the gang are going to play. talking about. <laughs> because we're, for, we're staring right at him. And also, this, that's the attitude that got us here, was if you tell us not to push a button, Jay and I are going to push a button. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you think if you're like, if you, you were know like, dude, to, you know who has to sit in an office because of this? Jacob, why do you think we haven't had a live read in eight months? Yeah, <laughs> we know we're going down with the ship. Fuck. <laughs> I got my water wings on. <laughs> Listen, I, mean, I put, hope, I hope to God the bonfire fans are vocal in social media on how much you want the show to stay. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't know how much advertising buckaroos are bringing into this some bitch. They're, they're pulling ad, but I'll tell you this, we'll flip this to a podcast and go Patreon in a second. <laughs> you know <laughs> Think I'll have, known. You don't think I'll have these four over to my apartment or your place for under the bridge? <laughs> we'll get a fucking eight Zoom recorder, and then you know what we'll do? We'll go to this motherfucker's but house. Over, this. <laughs> over huh? what? But over this? The no way we're going to be fired. For, if we're fired over job. this, I mean, this will give us so much fuel. <laughs> if, you, if we're fired over that, that would give us so much fuel oh, that we we're leaving serious on. I mean, just like rock legend. A, yeah, legend terms. If we get fired by a smarmy dickhead who can't take a joke, I won't wear a pair of jeans that don't have rips in the knees. Oh my that's god, that's how rock and roll we're gonna be. Yeah, I'll start doing needle drugs immediately, hey, man, like a bomb, a bomb, a bomb. Call me Lane Staley. I'll do all the podcasts and sunglasses, staring at a fucking <laughs> like a bomb, a bomb. You like Soder do the voice? I'm like. Boom, boom, I've been, bam, I don't know why, but Dirty Winnie the Pooh has just got me on a kick. Oh my god, dude, that was... I'm trying to explain to Becky Allen and... I like the, uh, also, Winnie the Pooh getting upset that, uh, that Nate's daughter's not doing it the right way. He goes, no, hop, no, no, hop, turn the camera, uh, no, not the whole camera uh, around me. Keep my face pointed, don't you? No, I but need turn you. your camera lens around. Aim it! Aim it! <laughs> How do you not understand this? <laughs> God, you are dumb. <laughs> You're just like your dad. Oh, look at that. The oh, beavers really? are loose. Ooh, <laughs> you go to school with some sturdy girls. <laughs> um, well, that I was trying to tell, got, I was telling Becky Hone. one has got good legs for buck kicking. Becky Hone was in the kitchen and I go, hey, Keith and DeRosa are on the show today. We started talking about your rap and your, your brown bag rap. And he just goes, yeah. <laughs> That's all he said about it. That's it. That's all he remarked. He goes, yeah. I go, you did that? And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I go, no, Jay and DeRosa were saying there was, they, they all had ways of pandering. And he goes, yeah. 
Vecchione way. He's in a very, Ve- yeah, in a very Vecchione way. He shut it down. He's oh, like, okay. man. Yeah. There's, I mean, he may have had the internet scrubbed for videos of it, but there I mean, has I would. to be a video of it. There, so. oh, Although that said, man, uh, the, the me taking my clothes off is only that of legend. Even though it happened on TV, I just... you can, And there's no way to find that. I don't know where you, you tried, right, episodes to find oh, Jay's comic view? Desperately. Yeah. Yeah, and you can't find it. Up. You can't I, find any of my comics. Well, I three of them. found some episode numbers, but they're like not publicly logged online. Damn it! Let's see, I wonder if we contacted BET as like Jacob. If you contacted BET, uh, Black Lou, please contact <laughs> yeah, BET. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. I think I thought they would Jacob. be able to hear the Jew in Jacob's voice. <laughs> hey, no, listen, we business. No, no, I'm not calling about the rent. I'm saying <laughs> no, no, I don't. You're not. Can I? Can you play? Can I get a word in? BT. No, I'm not a lawyer. No one's in trouble. No one? Please, please. I'm not I, looking for anybody. Can I speak to the head of talent? Oh, God. Uh, who, who archives your stuff? <laughs> <laughs> well, who's your archivist? <laughs> um, I hope the whole, uh, just the entire fortress that is BET is just all, like, very stereotypically black staff. <laughs> Oh, I organize all the seasons. Season one, purple. Season two, orange. Season three, yellow. I think we can find it. Yeah, I'd love to. If we can find it, God, that'd be great. It's by the, mm-hmm. yeah. I just I want to watch you strip to the Odyssey 2000. Take my clothes off, yeah, for it, sure. And that's that's public domain music, right? So you could use it. I think it was public domain. Yeah, Duh. I'm pretty. <laughs> that dude was bad. I wish. I wish I had the one. Did a murder? I mean, murders. Not. I mean, <laughs> people. Love it. And your face. Your face is a comedian. Where I go, did it murder? He goes, you'll fall. Like fall on the ground. That's so great. When did you? The first time you did that bit. Yeah. Because this is a DJ hit it right. Uh yeah yeah no not even. It was it was a cue. DJ had to know when I was in a certain sentence of making fun of bodybuilders. Yeah. Doing it. Then the song just comes on and I become, I become possessed by the song. <laughs> it, it, it was real bad. Cause you were, I mean, we all remember as comics your first bit that's like really kills, like really kills. And you're like, I'm Eddie Murphy. <laughs> and then oh, no yeah. less than a month later, you're like, ah, oh, this feels bad. This oh, feels yeah. really bad. But not this. This one carried me for a long time. And every time I did stand up comedy, I had to have a thong underwear on. Really? Yeah. How many thongs did you own at that point? Just one pair of my stepfather's yeah. zebra print thongs. Joe let you borrow a pair of zebra. I, they were like new, when I believe, did you... and I just t- I, I I was able to have them. What age did you find out that your stepdad wore thongs? They weren't uh, thongs. They're, They're like, like bikini, underwear. Yeah yeah, 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 bikini bottoms. Yeah, I think I think he had gotten them as like a joke. Okay. Well, I think the reason I was able to take them, I think, it was like a pack where it was like a blue per- pair, a black pair, Got and it. tri-pack. Yeah. Yeah. In hindsight, I have never overanalyzed the question of why did my stepfather wear that shape of underwear no it's matter what. It's crazy, because I remember my friend Jason showed us his mom's dildo when we were nine, yeah. and I was like, why would you show that to us? Why would you go out of your way? And by the way, then I just... I sort of get that, though. But he he was like, he's like, look, like it was like treasure. And he's yeah. like, look what I found, and it had fake pubes it had a, uh, and it was dick and I just thought all moms had severed dicks in their dressers dude my buddy when we found his dad's fake pussy it had fake I pussy. mean awful hair on fake it fake pussy's hilarious it looked like shit like clipping it looked like somebody like and this lit, is, somebody licked, licked the outside of it and then just dropped it on the floor of a barber shop so this is, is like clipping hair clippings and this is late 80s fake pussy early 90s yes uh, mine was probably early eight, early, early mid eighties. Mine was late eighties, early nineties with that dildo. And I mean, you think about all the leaps and and bounds that the sex toy industry has made. Yeah, well, like not, fake not. pussies, fake pussies. Now you can fill it full of water and get the jiggly ass. Dude, that wobbly ass thing, where the ass is so crazy because it's so awesome ass like. Yeah, like great ass. You see it on, it's always in the corner when you're uh, yeah. pumping it off the porn. <laughs> yeah. And it's uh, it really is like a jiggly. It jiggles. You put water in, it and it moves. Is like it butt water? Cheeks. I think so. It looks really. I, I act like I don't have one. I'm all, but no, you don't have one. No, I don't have one. No way. When my friends and I, Christine, look up the great ass uh, sex toy. When my friends and I went down, uh, when I was a senior in high school, I got into Arizona, and we had I hadn't visited it. I was just going to go there like blind. And one of my friends was like, "Let's drive the my friends, my dad's 
Astro van down to Tucson and the van broke down and we were stuck, but we were like next to a sex shop and we were like, there's six teenage boys being like, well, <laughs> let's steal a fake pussy. We'll steal a fake pussy. And then the conversation became, who gets to fuck it first? first. Yeah. Isn't that weird? The conversation is always that. Who yeah. gets to fuck it first? It's and always then, first. I'll tell you what. It never gets much past... Uh, the second kid. I know when we were. Oh yeah, that, yeah, I yeah. When we first, had one and two, then after three, you're like, I don't the first kid used it. Yeah. I think I didn't even get to the second kid before when I was like, oh wait, no, that'd be gross. Yeah, is that it? That's so funny when they, they're bragging about it. These these great asses by the weight, like the heavier they are, it's like it's better. And I kind of get that. Yeah, because you really can yeah, fuck look. it. You can really. Is this can black blue? That doesn't volume? do anything for you. That does nothing. Not at all. Nothing, nothing at all. I You're feel wrong, like dude. I get it. I just don't I feel like it. I could do it. I could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. But you fucked the flashlight, right? Yeah, I fucked the flashlight at Moon Tower. Never fucked the flashlight. That was right. kind of weird, but I. I would, mean, that's crazy. That's awesome, dude. I would do. You guys wouldn't do that. Can we get one as a mascot for the show? It's called Fuck Me Silly. Fuck Me Silly Bubble Butt. <laughs> uh-huh. Male masturbator. Look at that. Look I mean, it's, it's great. I'll tell you what, it. I don't want to fuck it. I do want to play with it, though. I want to slap it in front of us the entire uh, time. Dude, uh, can we get? It, can we buy one of those? Fanta flesh-like skin. Oh, look at that. There's oh, got to be a sight. Sex robots are going to be so cool in a hundred years. Oh, wait. Look at the guy. Uh, no, I want the jiggle butt. You want the jiggle butt. You don't want the legs pressed back. Yeah, there, there it is. Yeah. I say get the black one. I'm fine with that. No? No? Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, I don't want to turn on Black Blue. Black Blue's yeah. got to look at it more than we do. Yeah, Black Blue doesn't want to go soft. Get the white one. Get, the, get a real lily white. Can you get one with freckles on it? Now, let's see the different types here. We have a uh, frightened teenager. Uh, oh, look at that. And it, you do you fill it with water? How much is it? 150 bucks. That that's it? Shit. That's a steal. Why don't we buy a family? I don't, you know what, Christine? Let's each get one. I'd go look up and try to find the best one of these things. Yeah, top of the line. Because if 150 for that, Christ only knows what we can get for 300. Oh my God, 300, we could probably get half of a real lady. <laughs> <laughs> Preserved. <laughs> oh, cool, taxidermy butt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pick your start, favorite dead celebrity yeah. for fifty thousand oh. dollars. You could have Phyllis Diller's entire sex organs, or you could use dead porn stars' bottom halves. Ew! <laughs> Ew. Catch them in their prime. Oh, boy. I wonder if people do that still. If they use like the Savannah, like sex toys. Oh, the ones that are dead? dead. Yeah, the ones that are animal. The animal died. You didn't know that? Come on. Don't say that. Uh, dude, yeah. It didn't happen. I believe you because you, she's a tit person and you're... She's got, she had fake tits. She had high and tight. I don't like high and tight. I like low and droopy. You like a real yeah. heavy bag. I like a nice teardrop. <laughs> Is this the top of the line? Yeah, these are the real dolls. No, I don't, no. I don't want a person in here. I don't want That's a person. creepy as hell. <laughs> That's creepy. Yeah, Jacob hates dolls already. I don't want that. I don't want to make him go back to his fucking I don't, Florida home. I don't think you did yet, Dan, and I will, I'll say this to you. It'll be good because you have the whole weekend to do it. Yeah. Please watch Jersey Shore. Oh, oh so get right good. back in. Can I watch it with you guys? Can I come over? Yeah. Yes. I'll rewatch I the can first come over. Episode. I can come over tomorrow for the show. Um, the first one's two hour premiere. We could skim through it. We could skim through it. That is true. We, we can have a quickie. I got something so from invested. two to three. I'm done at three tomorrow, so I'll come over and then we can come in at four, five o'clock. Come in at Christine, five. Christine Lee, so we could work all this stuff probably off the air. <laughs> <laughs> so no, 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 I want to get through this right now. I and maybe we'll have a bite. What are you thinking, Mexican? No, I mean, no, I don't want a real dog. I, I just want parts. Okay. Yeah, we want. I was seeing that may, if maybe real doll had parts as well. Oh, uh, if you could just wait. We, I mean, we can just take the real doll and just disassemble her. Oh, you want to do that? You guys want to fucking, uh, you want to surprise this chick in a bathtub? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She had big boobs. Boobs. Yeah, I saw her through the window. She had big boobs. Um, bedroom window. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Oh, I, Gerald. I feel Fuse. terrible what they put window. through. When I go through our lobby here and I see, uh, all of our extraordinarily diverse ethnic, uh, staff that all works there in the lobby and they just pound them with Goo Goo Dolls music. <laughs> for eight hours a day. Yeah, it is, it is very Gitmo. I mean, there's a lot of different channels here. Can we let them pick if they're out there? I mean, it doesn't have to be an XL station, but I mean, Christ on the cross. She goes, oh, I'm going to kill this motherfucker if he comes in. Christine, some do me a favor. I'm just gonna, I hate to critique your search. You're searching here, but go back. You're saying best fake pussy sex toy. We wanted an asshole involved also. And, and, and... God, 
you know what? I, I'm sorry. I just get disappointed oh, with no, her. I, I expected it. more from her. Yeah. No, I think she would know. If we're buying a sex toy, of course you want the asshole involved. <laughs> but also, too. I kind of want the one that, that jiggles. You want the fake butt that jiggles. Because that was, of I course. mean, and 150 I'll go back down in price if I can just get the jiggle. Yeah. I'm all about the jiggle. Hi, it's, I'm all about the jiggle, Dan Soder. How much does that one call, uh, weigh? The one that uh, we were looking at? Yes. What's the weight on this thing? Hmm. That's a big deal to me. I want it to be heavy. Yeah, you can't have a light, fake butt. No, just... I want to grab on to the haunches and really go to work on it. <laughs> I want to go full-on fucking alley dog on it. Jacob, you can go first, yes. There were some things on the bottom that come with the, the fake ass. What is that? Five what? pounds. No, no, no. That's too light? Come on. That's way too light. That's the one from the video. Do you think you can anchor it down? No, I want to put extra weights <laughs> on it. This thing. I want those. What heavy is that? Th oh it's damn! A fuck. Oh, it's man. a t asshole, pussy, and tits. Oh, I'm the perfect woman. <laughs> titty fuck masturbator. And it has a speaker. What? I a love dirty Bluetooth. talking titty fuck masturbator. Wow. Do they have? Do, see if there's examples online. If there's an example video. Oh, there it is. Dirty talk series of fuck me silly masturbators. The first interactive <laughs> fuck friends from Pipe Dream Extreme Toys. We've combined an incredible Fanta Flesh Stroker with a super sexy voice and powerful vibrations for an unforgettable sensory overload. Please fuck me until you come. <laughs> Ooh, I love your big cock, baby. Okay. Squeeze my tits, baby. That feels so I know so you guys good. are thinking you recognize the voice, but look, I was in college. I needed work. My little ass is so it goes, uh, wet. Oh, uh, it's just us you. doing it? You go, dude, how do you think we got the freedom on this show? <laughs> how do you think we got the freedom? I go, oh, baby, fuck that tight little ass. <laughs> oh, baby, my pussy gets so wet for you. Christine. So my tight little ass is so wet for you, which is a weird yeah. line. That's like someone that doesn't know how to talk dirty. Yeah. They go, my pussy yearns for your stuff. What? <laughs> um, Using our exclusive motion-activated technology, yeah. your hot cock delivery simultaneously triggers both the powerful internal <laughs> dude, vibrations your hot, and the loud... Rewind that. Your hot cock delivery is so fucking funny. Your he's... hot cock delivery simultaneously triggers... Using our exclusive motion-activated technology, your hot cock delivery <laughs> simultaneously triggers both the powerful internal vibrations and the loud, sexy, super dirty talking for as long as you keep pounding. If you take that out of context, it sounds like someone's explaining to a guy how to fuck. Where he goes, you take your hot cock action to the max, and these women lose their minds. You keep drilling, they keep screaming. <laughs> Christine, go back to the picture again of the hot cock action to the max. I mean, it literally looks like you're fucking a Mars mutant in Total Recall. Yeah. Her yeah. butthole and pussy are right below her tits. What? I mean, that's so creepy looking. That's creepy. I like the butt because it's kind of real. It's, like a it's real not. Butt. It's like a real round butt. <laughs> but but I, the butt, it, I, I prefer the butt. I prefer the butt, too. The pussy seems weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, we do fake butt. Is there a fake Stick butt? it in her pussy, Jacob. Oh. Yeah. That's what we could put on that. We Was that when you and Stephen oh, Hawking double teamed the chick? Yeah. <laughs> she, she loves it. Oh. Our fat ass white girl? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Lou, Black Lou just jumped at the uh, screen. There's no I, promo video. I, well, there's no that. promo. I'm not doing it. Oh, come on. We need a promo. Jacob, can you allot $300 for Comedy Central to get us a fucking awesome fake butt? Look, I can ask. I don't know. Oh, wait. What's the more expensive one? Let's see that one. Yeah, I want to see. Oh, that's the one that talks to you and has a jiggle butt. Black, who loves white pus. Right? <laughs> Let's see it. Let's see how this one works. Let's hear it. I think I it's all it, the same promo. I hope it's the same guy. Is Whoa. it the same exact promo? Fuck friends. Yeah. I like that you call your fake pussy a fuck friend. He go, what are you doing tonight? I'm hanging out with my fuck friends. <laughs> my tight little ass is so wet waiting for you. We have to get the interactive one. Yeah. So is the other one called Fuck Me Silly too? The Fuck Me Silly I want to make sure series? it's the same Fuck Me Silly series, but this one was, has the... Uh, there's a there's a meeting. They go, guys, second quarter, the Fuck Me Silly series <laughs> took off. I mean, we're looking at real... We're in the black on it. Uh, what are those things underneath? That's showing you, I think, what the inside is. Yeah, what it feels like. What? what? Flashlight. What? A flashlight in a pocket ass. What? No, I know, but I think they're showing you the texture of the inside. Jacob's what? What? Uh, he goes, what? <laughs> <laughs> it, was such, it was such a what. I'm like, what? 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 Oh, what does this say? 
Male masturbators like sleeves and strokers are a great way to add variety to your sex life. They're perfect for using alone or with a partner. They're inexpensive and easy to use, so make a great first sex toy for men. Strokers like this one are a great place to Strokers, start. I like when they They're have terms for them. They're textured on the inside for better than real sensation. Look at that fake pussy. Some yeah? like this one That's are good stuff. <laughs> she goes, yeah, you like that fake pussy, don't you? <laughs> they, they do not look comfortable to me at all. No, it looks like you're fucking yourself with a medical device. How do you clear, clean those things out afterwards? Fuck what do you mean, dude? Powerful cum, dude. Yeah. She's got a shotgun blast. <laughs> if you shoot it hard shoot. enough, it should swirl back around and come out. Yeah, it cleans itself. It's called the cream pie machine. Yeah. They should make that. They should make a thing on top that you like, 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 like a, <laughs> at the bottom of it, like, on, like, kicks the shell out. Right. <laughs> we have to get the one that talks. We need a dirty talking one. A fuck friend? Yeah. We need a fuck friend that dirty talks. I need talks. my hard throat. Oh, is someone fucking one? Mm hmm. Here we go. Here's an adult. This has got a fucking piece on This him. guy's figured it out. A little pud, huh? Yeah, he was, you know, he's got, that butt looks real small. Yeah, that's tiny. That's, that's like, uncomfortable. Now I don't like it. That looks like a child. That looks like a, like a child's butt. <laughs> Christine, uh, burn that computer. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we should all leave. We should go out separate exits. So, uh, all right, everyone. Thanks for enjoying the Lost Thank Tapes. You. I'm going to go outside uh, for a minute. Uh, I am Pedro Rosales. This has not been Dan Soder. I need to leave. Um, <laughs> dude, I love that you porn has videos of people fucking fake pussies. I know, really. Like demos. I mean, that is the ultimate demo. The guy fucking a fake pussy? Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, to finish with it, I don't Let know. Let me tell you, as someone that's finished in a flashlight, you feel ridiculous. I bet, because you have to clean it. You're like, oh, look at him. Oh, he's going to work on it. And he's in, like, swim trunks. And yes, Black Lou, it's white. <laughs> Dude, I love he's moving the table. He's like, oh, this fucking ah. stupid See, that one looks like it's got some heft to it. I feel like a five-pounder, dude. You pump into it. Like it's, it's hilarious. It looks like he's forward. fucking a balloon. Ah. Christine, please. That little ah. box is blocking my view of this guy's dick pounding this toy. This guy's so proud of it. Christine, yeah, thanks for cock blocking. I'll dude. tell you what. The butts are uncomfortably small. Yeah. It's so funny looking, ah. though. Oh, Jesus. Christine, jump, please. to the. Ah. Let's get to the crux of this story. Oh, what? He was oh, not fit to get over to a chair. He's switching positions. Oh, this is going to be up at the Bonfire SXM <laughs> on Twitter. I mean, did he just put on a condom? Now? Dude, he's in a stack of chairs, which means he's in a meeting room. Uh, he really is. Where the fuck is he? Dude, that's so great. Where that is this like, porn taking place at? Dude, he's just in a storage closet at a hotel. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's exactly what it hey, looks like. I think the Mater D oh. just fucked up. <laughs> Hold up. He's got a condom. Probably Why easy he? cleanup. That's true. You could always fuck it with a condom. Why yeah, didn't we think of please, that when we were kids? Please slap the fake butt's ass. Oh, you spit on it. You spit on it own dick. Oh. 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 It's so ridiculous to make that noise when it's a plastic oh. pussy. Listen to the noise. Ooh. <laughs> Dude, it sounds like he's fucking a balloon. It's a stack of chairs he's fucking, essentially. To get it in the right position. Yeah, that's what I mean. He had to figure out how many chairs. Yeah, he, it was two chairs, not high enough. Three chairs. He Goldilocks this big pussy. He's slapping his cock up. Dude, that's so funny, and then he spits on it. Dude. Christine, how far? Are we close to the end of this? Oh, this guy's just going to show us blowing out backs of fake pussies. Yeah, buddy, you're not doing this for her pleasure. You're doing this for not a person. Just... He's coming then on. Then he pulls it. the condom off. Oh! 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 Yeah! Oh! Was that a spray? Uh, I mean, that guy shoot oh, six bro. ropes. Six ball. Call him the cowboy. Look, okay, he gets over, and then one more. But that? Did you see how that like sprayed out? Oh. I know. I'm sorry, oh. Christine. Uh -huh. I can't do no, that. No, look. Uh -huh. It looks like somebody's spitting, uh -huh. like, on an audience. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, why do I know that? Oh my God! I'm really an impressive love. Uh, I mean, yeah, six fucking calling the cowboy, uh, six shooter. six, and but like six, that would have hit her in the back uh, of the head. Cow, cow. Uh, 
<laughs> what a waste of a good load. Oh, Jesus, Christine. We have that clean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the thing you say on the show where you go, well, that's going to be brought back up <laughs> several mean, times. <laughs> Oh, what a good waste of a good load. What a waste if, of a good load. If that's not your text message noise notification. What a waste of a good load. Is Christine smiling? <laughs> Angelic. <laughs> All right, good for you, buddy. You're a real pervert. I mean, you got to be a pervert to film you fucking... Oh, dude, he picks it up. Oh, do we see his face? No, I don't think he should. He comes in and he goes, hey, my name, my name is Gary, Gary Sullivan. I work at Le Petit, Le Petit Garçon. Uh, I'm in the basement. I'm in dry storage. What? Oh, he shows you the load. Yeah, man. Wow. Good for this guy. Who needs chicks? Again, I'll tell you what, and this will come up for a caller at some point. Do women care if a guy shoots a big load or not? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we've already covered this this week. Have we already covered this this week? So. No, I mean today. We probably will. We might cover it this week. Oh, you mean when we covered it with Nick Mullen? Yeah. Oh, yeah I forgot about that. That was Remember? really funny. Nick Mullen from Cumtown. So it all made sense when we did that thing. Yeah. With Nick Mullen from Cumtown, the thing about the. Remember cum. when we asked him if he fucked a fake pussy? This is a stack of uh, uh, wedding hall chairs. It's not even regular. <laughs> you can't find these except at a, at a banquet hall. Uh, I mean, dude, I love that you know that. I feel like the guy lives at a <laughs> banquet wrong, hall. Am I wrong? He goes, dude, you know what it's like setting up, watching people have the greatest day of their life every weekend, and I'm just in the background? <laughs> I'm going to fuck a plastic pussy. <laughs> yeah. 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 Five, four, <laughs> three, two, oh. That was Ron Jeremy's trick. What? I'm not Christine just in a fucking hole of watching guys come on toys. <laughs> um, it's just a dude coming on a fucking lion o. <sighs> <sighs> Let's take our first break. Yeah. And uh, we'll be right back, everyone. Yeah. Oh. Tapes. It's the bonfire. Yeah. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Church is 18 holes in a 12 pack. Hey, Amen. Oh boy! Yeah, you know who that is, motherfuckers. I think that wasn't the song I was thinking of, though. No, it's not the song we were thinking of at all. But you know what's great about this lost tapes? We get three songs from Keith Jacob. Yeah, it's Keith Jacob Day on the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM ninety five. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big Jokerson. Keith Jacob, of course, former supporting act of Corey Feldman and the Angels. More importantly, country's newest golf sensation. <laughs> I wonder if how old is um, man, it, it was, wow. That's, that's some country music, huh, Jacob? <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, you like country music, right? I like old country. I mean, you know, like... Do you like this? No. <laughs> I know. I mean, I know. Come on, dude. He sent the pants. Yeah, he did. Pants, he's a fan of the show. You've worn, I don't like this track. Let me okay. You've worn them at home every single day. Yeah, <laughs> you practice your moves, your power kicks. You do fake, you do fake come ons in the mirror in yeah. the jeans. You go, oh hey, I didn't see you standing there. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty badass jeans. I got them from my boy, Keith Jacob. <laughs> you put the jeans on and go uh, call out country line dancing to your mom's dolls. <laughs> yeah, you go. All right, everybody, electric slide. <laughs> Swing your partner around and around. Come on, creepy, Jacob! Come on, creepy force. What are dog. you doing in the bedroom? You go, shut up, Mom. I'm having a bar fight. <laughs> you go, she disrespected my lady. He's just fighting the dolls. <laughs> you disrespected my lady, and I got to disrespect you. I don't like it. Oh, go to his videos on his own page. It's just this one video. Holes in a 12 pack. 18 holes in a 12 pack. Featuring John Daly. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Dude, he's one of my favorite. That's what we were just listening to. Yeah, I didn't know he was on. I thought we were listening to Ranch Hand. No. <laughs> that was our whole problem. <laughs> I mean, that was what we wanted to listen to. Christine, I, why did you not play Ranch Hand? I was playing Ranch. Hand. Oh, dude. No, that was definitely eighteen holes in a twelve pack. Yeah. Unless he, unless eighteen holes in a twelve pack is the one where he talks about a Ranch Hand. Because <laughs> Ranch Hand, he was talking about eighteen <laughs> holes in a, in a. Yeah, that was eighteen holes in a twelve pack. This is Ranch Hand. She showed up to yeah. her boots, tight pants, that horse by her side. Her legend grew across <laughs> Apple Land. She covered Apple's They are not having as much fun as we are. She didn't keep a secret about her side of man. She liked to hog. 
Horseback, dirty and tan. She chased cowboys like a city girl she's banned. She's a beautiful city girl. She's a big hit. She likes hot. Stick it. Illegal and mean. <laughs> She likes her Guatemalan, tiny, powerful, and callous, slimy, brown, because they're sick with disease. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a super fucking uh, Trump supporter, but he's doing this about ranch hands. He goes, they're taking all the good jobs away. Gonna get me a fence. I'm gonna build it. Protect it. Shoot some Mexicans. She likes it. <laughs> no, you Mexicans. Um, bring up that video of him and John Daly, though, because I want to watch that real quick. Because he was like, he's fucking selling out during 18 holes in the 12-pack. While you're bringing that up, um, we'll say we wanted to talk about, you came in uh, yesterday. Oh, dude, I was going to the bathroom, and uh, I was running late, and I was like, I had to go to the bathroom real quick. And they play, as as you said, for the multicultural staff, the whitest channels uh, are piping through. It's insane. And it was a country song, and I was pissing listening to the country song, and within five lines, I was like, man, this is some kind of rapey shit. Like just the way they were talking, where he's like, "I don't care what you think." What was the what was the exact line? Was how do you expect me to act when you look like that? And yeah. you're like, "Well, I don't know." I mean, with all this Me Too stuff going on, maybe not like that. Come on, cop, you're cool. You get it. Come on, look at them towels. Come on, female judge. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I burned that out, robe. You got your ass a nice rack. I have to put it in my face in two and give it a little. Yeah, yeah, all right, come, come on, on, your honor. Girls, it would be my honor to face mash those yams. Oh, I'd love to climb over that bench and just bury my head right in your love pillows. <laughs> so uh yeah, but I went into the office. I was like, would there ever the, the Me Too movement could never affect country music. <laughs> Um, they would just laugh it off. No, because you know, every one of them also has money ballad, to lose. No, everyone also has a ballad to a woman they love or a guitar or something that they like. Everyone's like, no, they they're sensitive. They say God a lot. Oh, yeah. it's, it's a clause almost. God is lovely and God is great. And then their next song's like, if you're alone, you're mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know all your biggest fears and I pray on them each day. I call a dark alley a honeymoon. It's <laughs> <laughs> like the way they're saying, like, that's definitely rape. <laughs> 2 a.m. It's hunting time. <laughs> when you scratch me, it just turns me on more. <laughs> when you ask me to stop, it means go. Because sometimes <laughs> no don't mean no. <laughs> like, what did I say? Go ahead and take some DNA. I'm going to kill you anyway. Yeah, this is our secret. And if you don't keep between us, <laughs> I'm going to ruin you. <laughs> it's all really rapey shit. But what was the song that I was thinking about? Did you find the song? I didn't find that exact song. Fuck. Oh, God damn it. How did it go? Well, stick it. Hot. Feeny. Red. <laughs> it was a fake butt. <laughs> Made with the jiggle. It had tits, pussy, and a butthole. <laughs> he shot six <laughs> loads onto a banquet chair. <laughs> it looks like a Big Mac that sex toy. Yeah. It's just too much in yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just falling out. Oh, special, man. Yeah. But tits, pussy, special sauce, is onion, the, pickles. Give me, give me some of that. Let's see if that's what it is. Play Give Me Some of That by Thomas Rhett. They're just, I think this is about a guy that was oh my gay God. and now is not from the lyrics. <gasps> really? Oh, dude. He healed me of homosexuality and my emptiness, and now the life is here. Oh, great. Please play, 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 play that. that. Stop play talking. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your yammering <laughs> and play this guy who clearly loves dick oh enough God. to bury it in a song. I hate it. Stop tempting me with hey, yes. beautiful ween. <laughs> 54 million views. He goes, Ain't it great? I love that. 54 million views. That's awesome. This guy's not healed. Trying to come over some smooth and waiting on the right time to make my move. But I, you're a dude and I'm a guy too. See, it's 
it's all like borderline uh, rapey shit. Where they're I'm, looking, like, I'm looking up the lyrics. To this. I know. I think what happened is there's a comment from the YouTube comments that said they cured me of my homosexuality. I mean, is there any the song about right? being cured? See what I mean? I mean, it's a rape anthem. It's a country rape anthem. It's just, he's basically going, I'm watching you and you don't know I'm stalking you all around this show. You gotta get me some of that. Yeah, I don't see anything about being gay. That would make me very happy. But you don't have to go far. Do we have a list of the chauvinistic yeah, songs? Yeah, Oh, yeah. Good job, Christine. Black Lou, Black Lou. Bro Country. Black Is that Black what it's Lou. called? Bro Country? Dude, there's nothing I love more no. than being fucking rural as fuck and just taking pussy, bro. Yeah, that was just Black Lou's note says Bro Country is over-sexualized. Well, here we go. Just gonna send it. Hell yeah, you are. Shake it for me, girl. Shake it for me. I mean, I've had a bunch of smoking hot... Have you ever been to a country concert? Like, yes. Like a bro country? It's... The girls there are the hottest. Yeah. I mean, I'd almost recommend we do a school field trip. Yeah. <laughs> I love Black Lou's like, please, for anything. Oh, when we're down there? When we're in Austin? Dude, I would go we to We should a, plan going to a fucking, like, find uh, a place that's doing, like, a Coyote country. Ugly type thing. Dude, I mean, the Second. girls that are down there. Jacob, I'll do it, but you have to wear chaps. Yeah, and shorts. <laughs> we'll put you, we'll put you in shorts. tiny jean shorts. Or bike shorts. <laughs> Shake it for me, girl. Shake. Oh, dude, there's. Hi, I mean, you like this song? I'm a good friend of uh, Keith Jacob. You might yeah. recognize these pants from the you know? uh, summer of summer of 2011 do, tour. Do you know Keith Jacob? I know him personally enough that he sent me his pants. I guess. <laughs> do these pants make you sticky, sticky, <laughs> sloppy, wet, wet? <laughs> Um, dude, I, I don't know about Coyote, uh, I mean, oh, it's on 6th Street. Yep. I don't, I told you guys when my credit card got stolen from Coyote Ugly, right? No. The original one here in New York on 11th Street? <laughs> That's a weird thing. That's a report. They just, I, uh, <laughs> I was drinking beer out of a boot. <laughs> and a, uh, a girl was whipping somebody. It was a mechanical bull. I think a pussy lip or areola came out. I'm a little foggy on the whole thing. I got water sprayed at me because she called me a pussy <laughs> for ordering a light beer. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they, I hate the... That's the Red Rock West, man. My bachelor party. Were you there at that part of it? No. At Red Rock West? They, they do the thing where they start smacking with a, with a fucking... Uh, uh, they start beating on you? And shit. And all, I, I hated it. I hate it. I hated all of it. Yeah, because you're like, stop fighting me. I'm going to fight you. You all right, Jacob? Is all this bro country getting to you? Too many fucking faggots in this city. All, all right, right, Jacob. Dude. I mean, that's no <laughs> reason to fucking... I mean, I can understand not liking a genre of music. That's not really what they're calling people anymore. Faggots. All right, Jacob. Dude. It's the wrong fucking day. Pussy. Oh, it's the wrong day for that. I know. Jacob. The only guy Western who can fuck this girl. Oh. Everyone's a fucking faggot. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Would you play that when Jacob's that talking with my headphones? Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> fucking pussy. All right. What's he doing? Is he hitting him? Is he hitting him there? I think he's hitting him. Jacob, get the fuck off of him. Jacob, get off of him. I'll play this video. Get off of him. Hold on. Get off of him, Jacob. Go back to Keith Jacob singing his ass off. Oh! Christine, that was like you were in the production mix right there. You kicked off whatever the problem was right in the part. I was a grinder back in the day. Atlanta Junior Golf played with love and Tway. I played 36. He's coming. He's got to gotta figure out. He's got to figure out something to do with his fucking arms when he sings, man. He just awkwardly stands with his arms by his side. I don't know what you do. Do this. They're so funny because there's so much rock. There's so much golf adjacent music that just blows. Look up this dude that married this girl I went to my high school called. His name's Kelly James. I think his name is. He has a song called Addicted to the Book or Summer Living, and he married the hottest girl from my high school. And uh, I know a country star? Fartbox and Beret are cracking up listening to this. Oh, yeah? Because we, we all used to share his video. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freestyler? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's it. And he's like golf. No freestyle for Kelly Slater at Ryan, Ryan Sheckler's charity event. <laughs> I just want to see what that is. What a knob pile. What is he? <laughs> he's like a white dude. Well, I'm still hearing the other dipshit. 
Yep. <laughs> Stick <laughs> it. Stop it. He won't shut up. Pussy is <laughs> too. <laughs> Your moms are hot. Give them my number. Salty. Savory. Lukewarm hot. Oh, God, white guy's freestyling the guitar. Come on, Kelly, I know you're a smart guy. So you're like random and you look up in the sky. Okay, dog, yeah, you got it here. You've been drinking too many beers. That's why you said chandelier. Okay, now we talk about it shiny. This is how we do it. Now I know you're trying <laughs> to have that moment back. You could have come up with something uh, you know, good. You know why and Black Blue's guy's arms folded? It's not as bad as you were hoping. That's what's bothering me, too. <laughs> okay, great. you going to go and just stop propagating because they say, you know, you're just having fun. Oh, my God, all strippers are dumb. Now, nah, I know you, I follow you on Come Instagram. on, Black Lou. You're a smart man. Black yeah, I know. He's a country star. Black Lou, I'm upset. He's not a country star. Play this guy's other music. Christine, go to Summertime on my mind. He's hanging out with Kelly Slater at Ryan Sheckler's place. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> that's a pretty sick game. Oh, okay. Okay, well, oh, I didn't know. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you hang out at the Kelly Slater Charities at Ryan Sheckler's joint. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't realize you were fucking A-list. I'm sorry. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah. Matt, Billions must be doing better than I even thought. I know <laughs> yeah. it's a successful show. I, I didn't, didn't realize know. you were such a Kelly Slater fan that you would turn on me right now. I didn't now. know Dan Maffey Soder was going to do all these things with Kelly Slater at Ryan Sheckleford's joint. Sorry, bro. I only hang with championship surfers. <laughs> oh, you did? Hey, man. Why don't you learn how to rip curl? No, no, no. <laughs> hang for. Richard Jefferson's in it? From the University of Arizona. And then the girl I went to high school with is in the video. This one? That's her. That's his wife. She's so hot. That was the prettiest girl in your school? Yeah. What are you saying? You think you could do better than Renee Herwalker? She was a Denver Broncos cheerleader. Look, I'll fight to fight me. Listen, she's no... I'll fight, dude. She's no young Janessa. Oh, what, dude? Bro, I'll fucking go... I'll go Renee Herlocker versus young Janessa all day. Er, day. Look, I'm not going to fight that Janessa to become a fucking Denver Broncos cheerleader. But, uh, I don't know, facially, uh, that's the hottest girl in the school usually is. Uh, I have a, I have a much better this, face than that. I mean, she married this knob. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're fine. She must have seen, so seen, so seen more in him... Uh, and his freestyle raps and just realized you were a guy who was never going to be able to go kick it with, with Kelly, Kelly Slater at Ryan Sheckler's place. She goes, dude, this guy's not going to get me in Ryan Sheckler's house. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, and I, I'll tell you what, I'm too hot to not be hanging out at Sheckler's. Dude, but she like dated like all these, uh, high profile Colorado athletes before she married this dude. Cause yeah. she was like, she was like a, uh, like a fable. Like me and my friends, one time she ran by my house. She was so hot. She graduated early. That's how hot she was. Those girls, where she's like, I gotta go be with men. You, you boys are, <laughs> and she was two years older than me. And so, you know, that in high school is like, fucking, that's a like a decade. Yeah, yeah, it's like a decade. So she was always like the hottest girl in our high school, and she would run by my house, cause she lived in my neighborhood, and we, all my friends and I would run to the front window, like, Renee! There goes Renee! <laughs> Dude, my dog ran away and she found it. It's the most awkward I've ever been in my life. Cause number one, it was right when caller ID came out. Did you grab the dog when she left and go? Did you get a sniff, buddy? What was it like? Did you, did you start? Lick, did you start smelling his nose? I fucked him. <laughs> I go Montana. Just let me give it to you real quick. Oh, like, I go, like Montana. Uh, move over. Oh yeah. And then you got to pull out and go. Yeah. 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 Six. Yeah. Five. Four. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. Dog. <laughs> Yeah, she, uh, hey, Montana, up, up on these banquet hall chairs. He goes, I'm about to really blow your dog back out. <laughs> work you over. Yeah. What kind of dog was it? Uh, Golden Retriever. Red fuckable, Golden Retriever. Fuckable. Very fuckable. fuckable. And fuckable. kind of appreciated it. <laughs> it understands love in all forms. She, uh, but she found my dog and is right when we got caller ID and she called my house and I went looking for him and I couldn't find him. And I was just such a fucking 16 year old stoner that I was just like, nah, let's go home. <laughs> like I you drove, I drove ID? around. I, I get home, I'm like, think, I'm like, gotta tell my mom when she gets home that Montana fuck it, cause he ran out, he like got out of the backyard, and I was like, fuck. My caller ID rings, and it's her dad's name, it was like, whatever her dad did, like, you know, Jake Herlocker, and I was like, no. And I thought it'd be her brother, her older brother, or like, her parents. Telling you to stop staring at her? Yeah. You're making our daughter uncomfortable. You have a 50 yard, <laughs> uh, we've gone to court about this, Mr. Soder. <laughs> no, I picked up the phone, and uh, I was like, hello? And she's like, hi, is this, because my name was on Montana's collar, and she's like, is this Dan Soder? I was like, nah, you're nah. Dan Soder. Dude, the best part was, I go, oh my God, you found my dog? And it was the worst acting 
ever. And uh, she's like, yeah, I found your dog. She's like, I live in Mission Viejo. I was like, oh, where do you live? And she oh, was yeah, like, no, I know the place. It took everything in me to get, not go, I know where your house is. With the purple shutters? Yeah, I've seen it. Oh, you got, the, you you got, got that window right by the elm? Yeah, you got the adjustable basketball court? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right, in the, you're right in the entrance on the street? I mean, what? Yeah, is that when you're always going, uh, Dude, that's when you're always leaving for school in the morning? <laughs> let me tell you, the most embarrassing moment was, I went, I couldn't even look at her in the face. She's like, I found Montana. He was playing with my dog. Yeah, and I was all, I was like, no, but I was like looking like, thanks. Okay. Th- I was 16. I don't care. And I was Thank like, oh, thanks. And then I, she gave me the leash with the dog, dude. <laughs> this is making me cringe even going to tell you guys this. And I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. So I jogged away with my dog. I went, I, <laughs> halfway down the block. I'm like, why am I jogging? What am I doing right now? I go, thanks. She was good. I, sorry. I lost him. I was running too fast. He couldn't keep up. <laughs> thanks. I, I, I'm so athletic. <laughs> dude, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to do. All right, I'm gonna high step it out of here. I, uh, sorry, trying to keep the uh, oh, sorry, trying to keep the old heart rate up. I gotta do the neon Dion. I got a prime time down the street. It's the biggest one of my career. And at one point you turn around, start running backwards and wave to her again while you're holding like thank you! Thank you, keep the thank heart you up. Gotta keep the heart up. Do I owe you anything for like no? Okay, cool, thanks. Come over. Come over sometime. If you wanna take a, a bong hit out of the attitude adjustment. You gotta come over for a coffee cake or something for something. You gotta let me thank you. Hey, if the garage door is closed, we're probably smoking going to weed, so just knock. All right, you're fun. You can hang whenever you want. Trish, because I don't like to smoke weed at four in the morning. Ring the bell. <laughs> I'll fight my mom. I'll fight her asleep. Goes, I'll fight her back asleep. Trish goes, Dan, who's here? I go, shut your goddamn old mouth, woman. <laughs> yeah. Go to bed, lady. Gosh, she goes, that's how you talk to your mom? I go, oh, no, she's my everything. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, I was just like, I, uh, listen, yeah, also, like, the living room's under her room, so if, if you want to go into the garage and hang out, I'll call you better. <laughs> you, know, you cool to go in the garage? Yeah, I was in, everyone in my high school is in love with her, and then she married that guy. What is he? Is he a country singer? I don't know what he does. It seems not like my, a, my my one friend who became an internet troll. It seems like, a Sugar like his, Ray his, all his became, whole life has fallen apart, and he's just an alcoholic internet troll now. And he has found out that this guy comes from like a lot of money. It must be. But it looks like if they put um all the Sugar Ray guys, yes, into the fly. He's, he's a fly pod. He's and Voltron. Then he became one thing. He's a vol, he's a Voltron of all the Sugar Ray members. Yeah, including the DJ. This is, I mean, good website. Oh yeah, that website's killer. And his freestyle's on point. But oh dude, he's got I think bars. Black Lucas say that. Is this his new song? Oh, I didn't know the new shit was dropping. I swear to God, I sent a reminder too. Surf rock is so. Oh dude, I thought that's what it was. Me too. Dude, I really thought that's what it was. I was like, all right, guys, this one's original, right from the dome. California. I mean, is he at the Providence Comedy Connection? Sounds like Jack Johnson. You know what? There's just, I, I'd say what it is. Listen, I hate having to say this, but he's very talented at playing yeah. music. Very talented. Yeah. So it's like, I don't know. It's not, it's not my cup of tea for sure. And it's hand. If you have the ability to make music and this is what you choose to make, I judge you a little bit. Uh, this is never the kind of music I would want to make, but this music has to exist for idiots like everyone Christine grew up with. It's lit. <laughs> yeah. I bet Roman and Sierra have banged out to one of these songs. Oh, KJ? Oh, look at the he goes, fuck shway. She goes, can you put on Kelly James? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, babe. Is that what you want to hear? I really want to have sex with Kelly James. Let me see. I think I got this whole collection on my Zoom. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I use Zoom. It's very retro. This is that's my hometown. So I think they they are from live or shoot videos. Where I'm no, from. they're from like that's where they live. It's Manhattan Beach, California. Yeah. yeah, is that where you're from? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that why your nips got hard to the song when it started? <laughs> yeah, I like want to go on a vacation. Some, now. some, 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 some on the beach and some, some, <laughs> some pretty girl, something, something. Is that why Christine? Man, we'll have a daiquiri and some, 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 and some great waves. Is that why Christine? 
smashing her head into the monitor like I am Legend Monster. Just trying to go into it. <laughs> uh, I don't understand why I can't get in the screen. I, I, can, I can smell the beach. I can smell the meat. Salty. I want the air. So look out, everybody. If you have a, a really hot girl in a Denver suburb, Kelly Jane will fly in and swoop her up. Fucking fuck her right now. But she dated like... Don't mouth fuck her right at your prom. She's, yeah. She dated like Troy Tulowitzki, who was a... Short the third Witzki brother? He's like a... He was a shortstop for the Colorado Rockies. Dan uh-huh. Highnote, who played for the Avalanche. We all knew... Me and my friends all knew this because me and my friends were like, she's the hottest girl of all time. She was definitely willing to fuck. No. That's too much of a pass around. Nope. She was she was no, all high you. profile. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but she was one of the right away. Sorry. She was probably the meter of the night fucker, and then she'll date him for a while and then move on. Yeah. I mean, that's too many of those. Oh, too many athletes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like she went to a place and all these athletes were just trying to woo her. No, she, I think I think she probably might have been a Jersey chaser, but who, you know. Yeah, of course. Those, 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 those women, there's women who are wags, wife and girlfriends, that just specialize in that shit. There's a whole show about it. Is there? Is yeah. it called wags? It's called wags, yeah. No, no shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's What do you mean? mean? Like, what is it? What is the term? Mean? A, a wife and girlfriend. Wife and it's girlfriend always sports athlete. stars. Yeah, it's like athletes. I learned that term from the wealthy girl because she was like, I'm hanging out with a bunch of wags. And I was like, I don't know what that means. And she was like, wife and girlfriend. I was like, oh, gross. That means they're wife and girlfriends of uh, athletes. Like at the same time. No, it's just the wives and girlfriends. And you find out that all the girlfriends are trying to be wives and the wives are kind of shitty to the girlfriends because they don't think they're going to last. Uh, so a whole, there's a whole. There's a hierarchy in and hierarchy. fucking Christine throwing your puss at a professional athlete. By the way, all these guys are just getting brain damage, but millions of dollars and all these women are like, it's about cunning. And the guy goes, I'm going to murder you when you're sleeping <laughs> in 20 years. I'm going to choke you when you're, because th- I'm going to have a snap back to a playoff game. We that won't. Sunday, she she learned that her husband had taken too many shots in the 1998 playoffs. Amber McNair was scared. <laughs> and they start doing all the things. Ju- yeah. What were you going to say, Jacob? NASCAR drivers have hot girlfriends. And it's funny because, you know, as drivers, a lot of them are short. But they have oh, these statuesque. We just found like, everything <laughs> he loves about it. We just realized it's not we just about the race, man. It's about celebration. <laughs> Look up uh, Austin Dillon. He goes, uh, well, you know, I love the sponsorships <laughs> and the hot plus that gets thrown at these tiny guys. I, I was saying, I like seeing Christine light up over topics that are just so like you could tell. That's when I find out everything she does when I'm out of town. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, she's like, and every time you look it up, I, sh- I would have guessed. By the way, I go, I bet it's something on E Channel. Yeah, it's E Channel is on three televisions in my house when I go home. I mean, we have two subjects to go real deep in. I mean, she is gorgeous. Yeah. She was stank. Hot. Sticky. She smelled like gas. That's are those what both these her? girls are for, rich, successful men. That's Ty Dillon. Austin Dillon's got a uh, wife that towers over him. He couldn't be happier. Where's that? Look at her abs. Right there? She's got some abs. Yeah, that's her in the middle. So she... We have... That's them in the middle. The middle. Jacob, did you feel my pain there for a second? <laughs> you said the picture in the middle. Jacob finally times. turned on Christine. I've never seen that before. It's unbelievable. Jacob went like this. Went, Christine, go back. I got it. Go back to the full that's screen the of all of them. Also. The one in the fuck. Yeah, that middle. Yeah, because that shows height difference really well. Oh, I think better. Back. I think better it does. Look where her shoulder Cr- is. Christine, fight back. <laughs> see your J Lo on. Yeah, that's You've a had great enough. Picture. You've had enough. <laughs> I'll tell you guys that don't. They don't go through that. No. That's a, that's a, that's <laughs> a, don't a give a shit. woman only thing where they're just like, yeah, I'll just whatever. Do you want me to look hot and be mean to all your friends' wives? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll be smoking hot and be a cunt to everyone's wife that you play football well, with. Well, no, you're saying the wives are cunty to the girlfriends. Is that the division? Yeah, they're just a little dismissive of them. They're like, you're one of a thousand, sweetheart. Yeah. Listen, baby, I put a ring eight. on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that he's going to leave before he forgets his motor f- skills. <laughs> Where you, yeah. The wives are just girlfriends that aren't that are being, being cheated on already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're just in the position where you're like, mm, I'm going to replace Well, that's what I thought you were meaning. It was like wives and girlfriends like of the same person. No, no, oh. no. It's just some of them have proposed and most of them have not. So it's mainly a bunch of girlfriends. Man. Dating? And they have kids and stuff and they're like, won't get married. And then you kind of see why because the girls are bitchy. Yeah, but me, like marrying or relying on a professional athlete to keep a lifestyle because when you have all that money as like a girlfriend, you're like, we're driving Mercedes Benzes, we go to Jamaica in the off season. And you're like, you know, he's only got like three or four years of that, and then he's going to be like, hoping he gets a broadcasting job, yeah, or hoping. I mean, it'd be great to see like, wh- like 
wives and girlfriends that it didn't work out, and they just like, because that's got to be like, you ruined the best time of my life. He's like, I was an outside linebacker for the Colts <laughs> for four years. I'm sorry, I, my contract didn't get picked up. I mean, it's such a quick. I can't sign things with my shaky hands. Yeah, I get scared in all things dark. <laughs> Movie theaters, my bedroom. <laughs> I will say they're always the same kind of pretty, though. No one's ever, like, grungy, but no one's got a, a girlfriend who's, like, it's just, like, like stank hot. Oh, dude, I would love that. They showed up with, like, a real former Hooters waitress. Like a white girl with cornrows, like a whoa Vicky. You oh, yeah. With a whoa Vicky. And, and then they just I'm go, like, look at this is my wife, whoa Vicky. And then they just pull, up, they just pull up her shirt and go, look at that ass. And they go, oh, all right. Oh, all right. Like, honestly, I know it's all round and booty like Padouche. Padouche, I annoy the fuck out of him by Padouche. <laughs> play, um. Just my phone back now so I can play. What's quarterback by Kira Isabella? Uh, it's about a nerdy freshman girl who plays trumpet in the marching band. It's a song. Band. It's a song. Yeah. Pining after the quarterback she never thought would notice her. Turns them on their head when the quarterback encourages the girl to drink until she's intoxicated and then rapes her and posts pictures of it on the internet. Sounds wow. Like a, <laughs> yeah. This is Steubensville. This, she should have named it That's Steubensville. Like Sounds like it. Oh, it is? It says it's ripped from the headlines about Steubensville. Wait, what's Steubensville? That's the football rape. Right, 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 right. As opposed to the baseball rape. Gotcha. That's the nine inning rape. There's been so many rapes since then. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. I keep, well, I don't get the newsletter anymore. Bum me out. So this is the Me Too movement of country music. Yeah, this is her, this is the only Me Too song in country music. It was Friday night, the lights were shining, everyone was sitting in the stand. Just pause it for one second. It's just the idea of this is so, like, to tell the story, like, are you going to play this in concert one day? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, she's going to do the rape song. goes, all right, I'm going to go grab a hot dog. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to sit here and listen to this for. Hey, man. Who says it's an awesome song? It's like, it's so weird thing to make a song about, I guess. I get it. You know what I mean? But, yeah. And he's like, I got to go to the bathroom. I don't know. There's some way to approach dark subjects in songs. I don't know if this is like, and then he held her down and covered her that up and he punched her in the back and he said, it was a Friday and he night and he looked so fine and then he got her alone and the shit out of her. Yeah. And then he bit her nipple off and spit it in her face and said, cause he likes it hot. You're gonna die. I was so scared. Luckily, the police kicked in the door. He likes it hot, sweaty, <laughs> forced and illegal. <laughs> hot, sticky, against her will. <laughs> Just go, Keith. No, 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 Keith. No, no, don't go down there. I'm running out of, I'm running out of words, man. What, what else do I say at this point? He goes, I, I did it, man. I turned a corner. I turned ranch into a rape song. <laughs> I turned Cause for miles, where anyone can hear you scream. Because the girls say yes, because of the implications. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that was funny. Cause if you don't do it, you're gonna die. I'm so glad I'm not from a fucking town where the high school quarterback's the star of the place. Yeah, right. High school, <laughs> that our is, high school quarterback. That is, is a town that's got so many things I I oh. envied about childhood, but that town also I, I visit it. My dad's like, oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah Ohio yeah, was, was like yeah. that. Oh yeah, can't. So it's just like a, a town where I felt that when I went there. But I said I like the things of when like Christmas time there. It's like all of the the whole city like they light up things and everyone. All the streets are lined with bags with lights in them. Yeah. And all and you go to the, all the houses have a giant table with. Forty fucking people at it with big turkeys and all that shit. Yeah. It looks very story. Norman Rockwell. But the rest of the year, that place fucking blows. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah For dude. me, it's my person. I wasn't. No, I was raised like, in that. I wouldn't want to fucking hang out with like a, with the sixteen year old quarterback. Our quarterback on our high school football team was such a doofus that everyone was just like. Who Ryan? He's like, like I don't know. nobody walked around. No one invited him to drink. Like all the kids that had parties were the kids that I played football, but most of my friends didn't. So it was well, just like yeah, we well, nobody walked around in varsity jackets when I was growing up at all. Like it didn't happen. Uh, that happened in my we high school. Had I had to. a big high school though. Huh? We had to. Like huh? on game days, we had like I was on flag team. Like I had to wear my flag uniform on Fridays. The yeah. guys had to wear jer- the girls would wear their cheerleading. Yeah, outfits. we had to wear our jerseys to school. Yeah. I think because you were uh, probably off in a different world at that point. I bet your town was probably much more like the sports people are a big deal. Just not in your circle. I promise you that existed there. There's just another thing to do too. Yeah. With that beach culture because yeah. I, I think 
you, no, you, you, you have it in a place like, like, like landlocked place. I'm saying, I bet your football team, the our players are much more important than you. You were gone. Yeah, our basketball team was important. Our basketball so team was really our good. Our water polo team. Was what? A well, on that note, why don't we take a fucking break? <laughs> <laughs> what? You go, oh my God, look who it is! But it wasn't. It's Tyson Martyrs. <laughs> He's the best polo player in all of the county. The water polo. Player. He's a slasher. If you're wondering his but position, that means he dips and then slashes. <laughs> dips like, under the water. The Texas towns. Where like the stores closed down for the high school we, football game. We played a seven. Christine's getting all this information though, by the way, from the Friday TV Night show Lights. Friday Night Lights. We not played, even the movie, the TV show. I went to a football camp. Way I went to a, a seven on seven football camp, and we went against Grapevine, Texas. Was the three at the time? They were the three time four A state champions in Texas, and this was in Colorado. And they traveled with hundreds of people, like hundreds of their fans came to watch this game. It was crazy. Like hundreds. It was seven on seven. It wasn't a real game. We were just in shorts and t-shirts, basically playing fucking backyard football at this camp. And the hundreds of people drove up from Texas to watch their team, Jesus. their wide receivers and their quarterbacks go. That's I mean, so they weird. beat the shit out of us. The living shit? The living shit <laughs> out of us. They beat the living shit. It was junior shows. year at Colorado State. We went up there and we were like, oh, Grapevine, Texas? And then this was before the internet. And they're like, hey, we're f- three-time 4A state champions. And you're like, oh, we're going to get the fucking shit kicked out of us. <laughs> uh, well, we're a, that's it for us. We're huh? a three and seven uh, mediocre team from Denver. <laughs> um, or actually. Should we take our second break? Let's do it, dude. And then we'll be right back, everybody. We're talking all kinds of shit today. Hot athlete wives. Right. About music. Sounds like rape it tunes. Rape it tunes. We'll be right back, everyone. It's the Lost Tapes. It's the bonfire. And now, back to the bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Oh, yeah. Dad's sexual fantasy music. Hot, <laughs> sweet, it. sweaty, and tan. It's the bonfire. Come central. Radio. We're stoned, lonely, <laughs> and kind of thirsty. <laughs> Very thirsty. Um, that's Kelly James. No, Kelly no, James, the other guy. That's, no, this I'm is so the ranch sorry. hand. This is the ranch hand. That's right Keith here. Jacob. Keith I Jacob. always forgot it's, fir- it's always fucking, uh, first name. Both of them are. Well, you know, he's such a, Keith a Jacob. stiff. Keith Jacob's a very stiff performer. Yeah. It's a very stand in place thing, which just reminded me for a brief second, Christine, if you could indulge me here, I watched with Christine, uh, the Thursday before I left for Nashville. Yeah. In Nashville, I watched at least 17 times the video for uh, Dancing in the Dark, Bruce Springsteen. Oh, with Courtney <laughs> Cox. How is he... The, he, everyone talks about the Courtney Cox being in that video, which I, I agree. That is the information I would always give first. Yeah, that's the only thing. That's the only well thing. beyond that being the thing that video. Bruce Springsteen, who is the working man's hero, the way he dances in this video is is inexcusable. <laughs> I mean, it goes, yeah, give it a little. Stamp, stomp, stamp, stomp, stamp, stomp. Just to dive into it a little bit, Christine. Uh, let's go full screen at the bonfire SX, uh, at the bonfire SXM on Twitter. We'll tweet out the video. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I mean, look at that shoulder. And he just never stops doing the Carlton. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. He's doing Carlton hip. It's always back to a Carlton. And he's wearing mom going to the grocery store. Look shirt. at that. Heavy Carlton. That's the whitest. Oh, that's the best. And the big man has no idea what to do. Yeah. He's watching a white guy trying to work it all Carlton style. Oh, Max, Weinberg. Max Weinberg. Weinberg's just laughing to himself. I want to, uh... Now I'm dancing like a silly dad We have to, This has to play, because you have to... There's a move he does at one point, Dan. He, he turns his back to the audience, crosses his leg, spins around with a karate chop motion. And it is, honest to God, I don't know how you can make something also, visual a ringtone, but I want that to be my ringtone. He's singing like, uh, you know, um... Fuck, uh... Who's the character on it? Ed Grimsley? You know, he's like, hello, I must say... Ed like, Grimley, yeah. Ed Grimley, like he's singing like Ed Grimley with his waist. He's like... Because he's like angled in. Is this coming here? Hang on. Oh, he's like, she looks like a boy. Hey. Oh, she really did, yeah. yeah. I mean, like emaciated thin. Yeah. It was an odd look. Oh, this is a was that it? Boy. Christine, I think we just missed it. Back up. He's going to... Oh, no, that wasn't that it. Wasn't that wasn't it. wasn't it. That's a precursor, though. It's in oh. the same family. So he's dancing. There it is. Oh. Yeah. 
Springsteen Chop! Back it up! I have taught you everything. Let's look at, let's look at a time stamp. The, the final mo the final move is the turnaround karate chop. Oh, Can right you perform it? <laughs> Bruce, ready, quick! Karate chop! Oh, no, I think he's got a butt on him, huh? We missed it again. Is it just me or does the boss got a butt on him? <laughs> there it is. Ah. Two forty. Go back at two forty, everybody. He goes, You're I gonna see Bruce turn Bruce around. Chop. Two forty two. <laughs> it's two forty two. Two forty two on the nail. I can't believe Bruce Springsteen was taken seriously again after this. He, goes, he thanks God nine eleven happened, yeah. so he had something Jerseyish to sing about again. Yeah, he went, "Hey, you, uh, you guys didn't remember that video, right?" <laughs> it's like what? What is so sad about the towers? He goes, yeah. He doesn't remember the video. You know, Bruce Springsteen has made a new song. He goes, who, that little fruitsy doing karate chop spins on oh, stage? Well, tell that ballerina. Look that at that karate. move. Back it up, Christine. His arms go up. He does a fucking hot chick hula hoop dance. Yeah. It's a, and where is this time stamp? 308. 308. I mean, <sighs> tell me you can watch these two things and respect Bruce Springsteen ever again. You're going to listen to him. Jacob's while, falling to pieces. You're going to listen to him while you weld? <laughs> Courtney Cox has fucking mind fucked everybody into thinking this video is about her. It's not. It's about the weird, ridiculous dancing he was willing to do in front of these people. Yeah. The working class hero. The river. He goes, hey, uh. Thunder Road. If you guys are on your break at the factory, could you not watch my video? By the way, this is by far and wide one of my top three favorite Bruce Springsteen. So I don't like any of those. But I'm just saying, Adam Sandler's great. This yes. is the uh, dude. I watched this 18 times this weekend too. That's one of the funny when Adam Sandler does it when she hosted. Well, I think we have the clip right here. Uh, this is worth playing. It's two minutes. It's worth it. Oh, that's great. By putting me in a music ago, someone gave me my first break by putting me in a music video. He nails this. Um, that person just happens to be here tonight. Come on. This is wonderfully audio. Dude, the way that Adam Sandler plays it with the underbite is oh. so perfect. When he starts forgetting yeah. the words and she's... Turn it up. No. You got Rick rolled. You gotta do it. It's on Vimeo. Yeah, I got it. It's Son right. of a bitch. It's on Vimeo, good. Why? Clarence. They own the, well, that's clap, also the they triple do. clap. They keep going back to Clarence Clemens in the Vimeo one. Adam Sandler. In the 90s, just unstoppable. Unstoppable. I'm on a man of freedom. I say why. I ain't nothing but tired. Tired. And it's time to board with my Start cutting back to Stop it, but the I mean, we'll put up. it out uh, at the bonfire at 6 a.m. It's, <laughs> that's such a funny sketch. I mean, Sandler doing uh, Springsteen and Eddie Vedder were always my... Well, oh, he did yeah. Eddie Vedder as Opera Man, and then I think he did it also on a benefit one. Oh, with, for uh, Scotty Pippen. But that video is... I, I'm so surprised that... Bru that he's the working man, too. Do they look at that as a weak moment? No. Because no. everyone loves that song, and Courtney Cox became a huge star, so everyone... It's exactly what I was doing, right? I love like, the song. Yeah, yeah, it's a great love song. It. But you were like, uh, Courtney Cox... Oh, here's him as Opera Man doing Eddie Vedder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <they're> good. <laughs> I mean. No, he's absolutely fucking great, but that Bruce Springsteen thing is so funny. Yeah. Like they really 
Maybe it was the time that every yeah, man's I mean, man danced. Like, although it was the no. '80s, the Footloose man, fucking Chris Penn, that was the whole thing. He danced. Uh, would it, you would disagree. Jacob just shot up like, like you. Were, that, but I'm telling you, I re, I'm laughing because I remember as a kid watching this video. <laughs> like up until then, if you were told explicitly never to dance like this or act <laughs> like this, and then the most manly man and you yeah. know the pride of New Jersey does it, and you you just confuse. <laughs> Jacob, wow. Jacob goes in the kitchen holding his teddy bear, and he goes, "I saw the boss dance. <laughs> it made me uncomfortable." Impossible, young Jacob. <laughs> Jake, get out of here. He wouldn't do that. Thunder Road, Bruce Springsteen. I'm sorry. Last time I checked, he's on a Tenth Avenue freeze out. <laughs> I, I remember. I don't even remember the name of the guy, but specifically telling me the rules of dancing. Like you, you know, your guy. You don't put your hands above your head. Like, like I would get killed if I had to just Jacob put like that. your dumb arms down. You look like a fruit. <laughs> that, that was the, no that that was the rule. If you swing your hips, it better be with a hammer. <laughs> You don't go to school, you get a girlfriend pregnant when you're 17. Yeah, he always talks about his irresponsibility of his dad. <laughs> We're like, dude, why? Maybe most of your songs are just your dad fucked up, kind of. He had to work at the mill. I think it was Artie Lang who pointed out, made me laugh so hard. He goes, all those speeches, Bruce Springsteen, goes, growing up in Fort Lee, New Jersey, only had a few choices. You could go to work for your daddy at the mill or become a rock and roll star. And it's like, or you'd probably jump on like a 20 minute train in the biggest city on the fucking earth <laughs> and become anything. Finance. You could work yeah. at a McDonald's. Dude, you could pretty much become a successful manager of a cell phone store. You could be a successful panhandling heroin addict, possibly. Yeah, you don't even have to fucking go inside and make money. <laughs> you could sing that well. <laughs> yeah. I like a little, little Jacob Bruce Springs theme music. Jacob be afraid of the dolls. <laughs> Jacob don't like his mama's dolls. I'm telling you, I mean, I was into Courtney Cox, but this video you're, was confusing. Even on the yeah. Courtney Cox thing? No, I, I just watching him. Like, oh, you felt a like, lot of things mix up inside of you? Well, you no, know, I'm saying I don't understand why he's doing this. You're not supposed to. Dance. They well, can't do this. I'll tell you what's really That's bizarre. What I was told. I, I'm just fascinated that I'm finding out that Jacob had such a no dancing policy in his life that he was like restricted. Well, his father was the town's uh, was the town's reverend, oh. and he outlawed it because Jacob's older brother passed away in a drinking and dancing accident. <laughs> I heard that. I um, heard that. But then, luckily. Uh, this awesome kid, Rhett McCormick, came to town and taught Jacob how to dance. And I know. He turned it all around. I, I figured he had learned how to dance because I caught him anger dancing on one of the abandoned floors in the building. Dude, if I could see a thing of Jacob uh, aggro dancing, like that? let's hear it for the boys, yeah. it would make me be my favorite video I've ever seen. Go back to the Dancing in the Dark video because I want you to see Adam Sandler makes fun of in that clip. I didn't realize this when I first rewatched it again. When Courtney Cox gets close to him, Adam yeah. Sandler goes like, ha, da, da, da. if you watch, when he brings her to dance, he really doesn't dance with her. He just lets her dance, too. <laughs> hey. He brings her up. He's like, well, you, look, you look weirdly like me. Hey. You're like a tiny me. Look, he just gives her a couple bops, and then he just goes, I'm going to do my thing over here All now. Right, I'm going to spin away from you. Clarence, take me away. Play it away, Clarence. <laughs> what are they yeah. doing? But she's dancing the way a guy dances, the w would have danced. Yes, like exactly. He's, he's she, last night she was like, oh my God, I danced with this guy yesterday. I think he went to dance school. He was making, he was too much. It was a lot. He was very extra. <laughs> Ooh, Jacob. Can you please anger dance to this and let us follow you with a GoPro? Jacob, 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 Jacob. Just him walking Jacob, around the outside Jacob, of Sirius, Jacob, just hitting the walls. Jacob, Jacob. Oh. What the fuck is this version? I don't know, but I'm Look, about to jump across. Are you trying to play across. your goddaughter's music for us? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, guys, seriously, she's real talented. That voice of that angel, that's actually Kaluza. She's, uh, she's my friend's daughter. She's six years old, bro. What do you guys think, though? I'm thinking about managing her. Yeah, he goes, no, I think you can plug her in. Sony, can you get her a meeting with the Billions people? <laughs> I think she's got something. Goes, Maybe she sings in an episode, huh? Why, where is this version, Lou? It says uh, from Footloose. Maybe it was a play in 1998. Oh, it's definitely a play. Come on, here we go. Thank you. Anybody, Everything anybody, he does so well makes me want to yell. Anybody got any blow? Or? 
You guys want to rip a couple Hollywoods off the dashboard of my Trans Am? Excuse me, is this keyboard making me feel a little heavy in my pants and a little empty in my nose? Is our age difference have to do with you riding around with friends in fucking Trans Ams with the T-tops off? Nah, dude, I wish I wish one of my friends owned a Trans Am. It was all Honda Accord hatchbacks and fucking old Broncos, buddy. I had a couple, I had a a couple, couple of Blazers. I had a couple You're of T-tops Colorado. in my life. talking Colorado. A couple of T-tops in my life. That, I'm very jealous of that. It was bare minimum SUVs in my circle. Mm. Maybe a Wrangler with no doors? Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Two of my friends had Jeeps, dude. <laughs> Off-road. No doors? Uh, dude, hilariously, Get, the two friends... Did box fall out? <laughs> dude, the two friends that had Jeeps were fucking fart fart box and Beret. Yeah. yeah, I knew they would. I swear to God. I knew they uh, would. Fart box and Beret, uh, they live off-road, man. I hope you never know when you got to go off the grid. I hope... I really, <laughs> fart box and Beret. Really, you might have to hit the rough terrain. Oh, uh, man. man, I really hope Joel's listening to this right now, my friend who loves the show, because he'll be like, dude, that's true. They both fart box. Box and bread. bread cheeps. <laughs> they called themselves Hannibal and Murdoch. Yeah, yeah, dude. One was white, one was black. One jeep was white, one jeep so was black. Fucking great, ba. Yeah, ba and Murdoch. Come on, let's go, guys. Time to get lunch. <laughs> yeah. Lunch time, boys. Uh, just doing high school uh, guy shit. Yeah, but all my friends had like, yeah, my friend Zach had like a blazer, like an old blazer, and then I had a shitty Honda Accord hatchback. Yeah, and then I got the Strat ass. I had a Honda Accord hatchback too, buddy. Eighty seven. Dude, I'm telling you, I think we had the same car. Yeah, I think so, too. Honda Accord hatchback. Kirk got mine stolen for me. 1987. Mine was... Uh, he went ahead and got it stolen for oh, me. How did he do that? He just parked it at a... He parked it at a tow zone. Mm. When it was there for long, somebody ready to steal a car probably went, they didn't realize it was in a tow zone. I'll really get away with this. <laughs> yeah. I don't think his car was towed, as so, I did. Yeah. I spent a nice couple hours with That's it. On that. Yeah, there it is. That's the car I had. Mine, too, dude. Awesome. Was yours uh, automatic or manual? I mean, my first automatic, I think that was. Beret had the same, his, Beret's older brother had the same car. Yeah, that was a very, I mean, you can get that cheap. My grandmother got me for that for like 900 bucks or no, something. But like when I say he had the same car, he had the same exact, uh, color. Yeah. Make and model. So when. I mean, that's pretty much how they came, like fucking, like we forgot to paint it gray. Yeah, well ours was, mine was light blue. Yeah, mine, mine too. Yeah, mine too. Up, I think that is right. sort of that. Uh, all the way to the right. And it's yeah, the hatchback. The only thing I thought was cool about it was the the headlights went. That was awesome. That was my favorite part too. Uh, what really sucked. That made you feel the, baller. When the master cylinder uh, blew on my brakes, and we were driving to see Blair Witch Project, mm-hmm. and I went to stop, and we just went over through the stoplight through a busy street where I'm like, whoa, 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 the entire time. And I grew up in Aurora, which is maybe like. I want to say six exits from where we needed to go on the highway to go to the movie theater. Mm -hmm. I had to drive with the handbrake on I-25. No shit. Yeah, my master cylinder went. My brakes went. That's fucking terrifying. It's terrifying. And I like, as we got to traffic, I had to pull it up with both arms. And I was like playing high school football, so I was in shape. And I was like, yeah, we got it to my house and we took it to Buzz. And Buzz was like, yeah, this shit's fucked. Like, he's like, don't worry. I'll take it on your mom's leg. He goes, I don't know. Take your mom, take the brake pads off. <laughs> That's what I call condoms. <laughs> Once your mom starts, let me take off the brake pads. <laughs> he goes, get my motor oil over face and back. I go, Jesus Christ. He goes, oh, I meant it'll be three days. <laughs> I, did you have your, one of your headlights? The Stop working. Mechanism stuff, and then it gets like that doll eye. That, no, <laughs> like, it's like half your broken. car stroked. Yeah. Your car stroked. It was like, meh, meh. I when, start floating. When that car died, my mom. Uh, I was. I think I was like a senior in high school. My mom was like, "For your graduation present, I'll put up whatever money you have towards a car." So I put up like I think I had like I'd saved like two thousand dollars from working all summer or whatever and i bought the 96 dodge strat ass yeah in, in 2000 and i'll tell you this if you're buying a car for your kid buy him a car that looks like a soccer mom car because i never got pulled over it was just this basic white car with no tint it was boring as fuck looking yeah but dude there I, I sold it and moved to new york booming system in it no hell no but i got a sick ass deck yeah an alpine deck you got a deck. A removable face. No, uh. Yeah. Just throw, just throw a couple, uh, three by nines in there? Yeah, I got some three by nines from, uh, car toys. A couple five by nines. I had some tweeters. I had little bumps in the sides. Throw a base tube in the back? No, not really. Dude, I. What was your amp pushing? Dude, these are all fucking things. This how is, how old, funny how much this is not a thing anymore. Not a thing at all. How old were you when systems were big? Because. System. Did you have a system in his car? System. That was a thing you'd ask. Dude, I remember one time we'd. Sp- I never had a system. We spoke Now a- I can afford a system. No one has systems. No one has systems. I, you'd get a real, I was, I'm at an age where even though I like to listen to music blaring, by the way, I'm still like, 
The Bose it comes with is good. Yeah. Well, also, like, now cars come with Bose sound system, so a lot of the newer cars have the true sound system. Hey, that was my baby. There it is. I drive a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> um, that, uh, but, dude, systems I never got because it always made me uncomfortable. We'd smoke weed in cars with systems. Like, my friend Calvin at a Yukon, and he put in, like, two 12s. And we would smoke blunts in his car, and I'd be like, dude, Calvin, this... Hurts my chest because we'd be sitting there smoking weed, and be like, "Oh, uh, that's how I learned." Oh. Yeah, that's how the first time I heard Metallica one ever, not ever, but like uh, in a car like that. Yeah, that was the year. It's like, yeah, it's this one part that just fucking rattles your rib cage. You're <laughs> Uh, uh, dude, I think, we just found, I think we just found my favorite impression of yours, which is rock music in a car. One through a car, just got a car that's like a car with a box. A Civic. Remember somebody would get yeah. a box? Oh, dude, they would suck their own dicks about it. <laughs> a box built into it? Dude, they, I, I had a friend that I grew up with. Uh, he was like one of my dirtbag friends when I was young. Mm -hmm. He came out, when I first headlined Comedy Works, he came out to the sh and he gave me a ride home. And, and he had a system in his car. <laughs> and I was like, dude, it's 2013. What are we doing? And he was like, we're driving. And I finally was like adult enough to be like, dude, can you turn down? This is, cause he's like, and he's like, how's New York? I'm like, it's good. <laughs> I'm so, talking about adult problems. I'm so bummed we're talking about this now because this would be a fun thing to people to call in. Like, we'll tell people they can call in and we'll give them 30 seconds to just list their systems. Uh, I bet dude, people still remember them. They, they go, go, oh, I got uh, a JBL. Two five by 12s. Yeah. I got fucking two 12s, JBLs. They were uh, two amps that were each pushing 140 ohms. <laughs> so we'll do that on Monday. <laughs> If you, have a, if you have a system, call in on Monday. I'll just run a live your system. show. Or what you had, or what your system in. was. Yeah. Dude, my favorite, my buddy Jay had a, had a T-Tops Firebird, put a whole box in the back with all the ba yeah. And I remember hearing him come down my street one time listening to Paul Revere. Oh, uh, the yeah. Beastie Boys, because it starts off with out the base, like, here's a little story. I'd like to you, tell about three yeah. bad brothers that know so well. <laughs> <laughs> just kept it, yeah. and it, I was like, "This is not. I don't enjoy listening to this. No, at all. I've always been more of a treble guy. <laughs> oh, dude, I'll tell you this: less, less, uh, less bass, more treble. A lot more fun for me. A lot more sing songy songs. I tend to not put the bass above the middle setting ever. I sometimes I put the treble because I want to hear the words. And yeah. Players. Well, here's the thing: is renting cars. They do. Christine's right. They have a lot of great sound systems now. Just basic sound systems in the car. And sometimes, yeah. sometimes I'll get into a rental car and someone will have the bass cranked all the way up. That and you, a lot. And you get in, you're like, and I'm like, I'm listening. To fucking... Oh, I guess when black people were in cars now. <laughs> <laughs> I turn it down. I go, mm, let me let me put this on. Let me put this on a good mm. pink setting. <laughs> More trouble, less space. Let's put it right back to the middle. I'm a good middle white guy. <laughs> Nice middle metal. I like a nice little middle, and I'll have some Nathaniel Ratliff in the night sweats. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, they really do come. But that was, I don't even remember when it stopped being a thing, but it was a real thing to have sounds in your car. Yeah. But now, I mean, the cars, the, all the new cars I bought in my life, which I guess are all three. Right, Rick, all right, Ric Flair. No, they mean, it's been trade. <laughs> my, my first, my, uh, my first one ever was, uh, Completely uh, ravished by a hurricane, so I was yeah. able to get a new one from yeah. that. Uh, that car, by the way, can I just say this? I know it sucks it was ravaged by a hurricane, but I remember that car. I rode it in a couple times drunk. Oh, yeah. It was real nice. My best one ever. It was great. My best car, my, my Ford Explorer. Yeah. Oh, it was. Delicious. I remember getting, I remember you playing Rob, we played Rob Zombie on the show yesterday, but I remember you playing me Rob Zombie's new album in that car, yeah. and I was fucking hammered <laughs> and i took a corona with me from stand up new york <laughs> to the comic strip because you're like you want to go with me i was like you just gonna finish this beer and you go hey, just take it with you i don't care and i was like okay <laughs> and then we got in that car went to the comic strip and, and smoked uh volcanoes downstairs that's right with that big crazy those big crazy volcano bags yeah um God, he's oh, that cool. car was so great. Yeah, but that, I got a new car because that one got killed in the hurricane and then that car went funky and i had to get another car mm -hmm. but, but bad on you it was just sold bad. I think it was like a lot. Remember, we we talked about it. We used to talk about it on the show. Oh, yeah. You guys got rid of that? Yeah. Wow. But, I mean, it was like, we'll give you a good trade-in for it, but you're going to be on the hook with us for seven more years. So they yeah. still. It's crazy how not, like, that car was just non-stop issues. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was, it was in crazy. the shop more than it was. But even the one they have, so the car I got them now, like, it's just, the sounds in all of them are, like, 
pretty fucking great. Yeah, the gates. So they give you. So I don't know why you would even think to do too do much. People more than look that. up. Are there still? But system? they do blow. But they do make factory speakers system blow. System competitions. I think there's. Oh man, that's. Look at the Honda Accord, Jay. That's our shit. That is. That's the car I had. Dude, if I got, if I ever got, I had better really, wheel well, better ever, wheel wells. If I ever got really, really wealthy, like really wealthy, mm-hmm. I would refurbish one of those. Oh, you. dude, my friend Glenn. Oh, by the way, matching. Me and you would have matching. <laughs> matching. That'll be remember when Adam Sandler bought everybody uh, Maseratis. Yeah. If we fuck that, that'll be our eighty-seven hundred Accord hatchbacks. But by the way, I'm gonna drop a Tesla engine in there. <laughs> it's gonna be fucking stupid. It's our five-year show anniversary. Yeah. Um, what you call? But uh, this, my friend Glenn had the same car too. Yeah. My friend Glenn, um, fucking like hooked his up. He had strobe lights under it. <laughs> yeah, dude. Anytime I mean, the people put the lights under the car, I remember there was this dickwad that went to Eagle Crest and you like driving the Taco Bell. In my high school, you just hung out at the Taco Bell parking lot trying yeah. to find house parties or whatever. Mm-hmm. And you'd be like, <laughs> you drive in. And you're just like, he's got neon under his car. Yeah, like, this wasn't neon. He had strobes. Fucking dick. Actually, they went. And I remember the first time, Glenn, not a little guy. Yeah. Uh, not Glenn. I was saying the dude from Eagle Crest. Oh, no, I'm saying and Glenn is not a little I'm guy. I'm basically saying I went to Smoky Hill and fuck Eagle Crest. <laughs> just, I want someone listening to their car who might not know who we are to be like, wait, what was that? I went to one of those. Well, listen, Glenn was a big boy and yeah. so am I. And we got in his car the day he got the strobe lights. And he also had his wheels like uh, like widened. Okay. So like the yeah, car sat yeah, lower. Yeah, yeah, Where they come out so the body <laughs> can lay lower. And we went, there, and we went to we went to little Jay's house to go, you know, hang out. And what we forgot was... <laughs> Little Jay's neighborhood, so you don't speed through it. All the streets end with like these crazy like speed bump dips, and the first speed bump you just hear <laughs> it's the strobe lights bursting <laughs> as our fat asses drag them over the speed bumps. No, really? Yeah. Did you guys look at each other? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, oh. like shit, fuck. Why would you? I don't understand wanting your car lowered. <laughs> I don't know. My friend Adam had like a like a a, a kit is what they called it when yeah. they put a body kit on it, and he had like these dips in his road where you'd be driving, and you'd be like, and then he'd come up to those dips, and then to be like, <laughs> come down the side, and then come back up, and then be like, like make up for it. You're like, don't make up for it. Don't make up for it. It's okay. I don't think that you're less of a man because you have to take sides like you're walking at high heels. <laughs> It's like car high heels where he's like, hold on, these are the steps. These are the steps. Yeah. I couldn't imagine caring about a car in any way that I, I would have. Don't, I don't. And, and by the way, it's so Love funny. the Strat ass. Love the fucking Honda Accord. Never I could, I could besides a, music. I, I could 11 times over afford what hunks of shit with those systems they were doing now, but I would never want that now. Now I would just like a, I would like a nice, <laughs> like, you know, dude, I get my comfortable. Dick, my, dick hard, my dick gets hard over owning like your a, vehicle. Oh, vehicle. A, a good Ultima? <laughs> well, no, I still like an SUV. You know, I say I like oh. a, nice, a nice Ford Explorer. I'm a Nissan guy. I want a nice Altima. And if I'm if I'm doing well for myself, I'll get a Maxima. Oh yeah, I like a nice. Uh, like I'm talking about. Are you talking about to rent? I'm just saying for if, if I, I if bought I was, a car, if I was to own, no, I would do like I'd like a nice Escalade, one of those kinds of things. Yeah, it's nice too, big, nice it's too big. big. You're a size queen. I yeah, want I'm a size queen. No, I don't want like a suburb and nothing crazy like that. <laughs> But you, like know how, you know how big <laughs> expeditions used to be in the late nineties? Like how fucking big they were. They're not. They're not as big now. Yeah. No. So and they for, were like fucking tanks. Yeah. Suburbans also are fucking. Yeah. They're crazy. Like to get in one, you can like crawl inside. I don't well, want suburbans too big too. What's that, Bach Lou? Do you remember the excursion that yeah. came out right after, and that was like the biggest? That one was the one. That, that was the one that went the biggest, right? Yeah. The excursion. Well, we should tell people uh, as we're doing it to to definitely call in on Monday. Monday. We'll call. Maybe I'll have Glenn call in, give his specs, and talk about how we. Because I loved it. I, maybe I'll dips. reach out to Jason. I'll see if Jason can call in with his specs. Get the ball rolling, but it's going to be System Day on oh. fucking, and we're going to play songs like. <laughs> in a dream, I, you're my dreamer, you're my dreamer. <laughs> That was a big crazy thing. There's a huge Asian community in Torrance, California. Asians love systems. They love systems and they love lights on Hondas and Toyotas. And there was always just like a big group of Asians. Asian campers. Toyotas. Yeah. (laughs) Asian campers. Get ready to call in on Monday because I want to know all yours, like the specific. Ah, two brass rods holding up two uh, base tubes. No, these, um, we had, we had uh, a couple systems in our, 
park. We had a big high school, like 2,000 kids. Mm-hmm. So the parking lot was huge. And there was a couple systems where you just hear them in the morning. Like, oh, you know, Rob's here. Yeah. Oh, someone's showing up. Present. I, I never had the confidence to do that, like drive in that loud. I was no, like, I didn't. Like, I wasn't that much of an attention person at all. Yeah. I, was, I never had a look at me thing. But we'll, we'll get it on Monday. It'll be fucking great. Well, this weekend, or no, you're not there this weekend. We're both in the city this weekend. We're both in the city. Oh, mouth buddy. kiss. Well, Big Jay's going to be at Hilarities in Cleveland, April 26th through April 28th. After that, he's going to be headlining Caroline. So, tri state area, get ready to come out May 3rd through come the big. 6th. It's huge. Broadway. Come. <laughs> that's in New York City. I'll do different shows every show, I promise. It's, yeah, that Jay is good for that. And you know that. So, come on out to Caroline's on Broadway in New York City. Go to bigjcomedy.com for tickets. Woo! Yeah, it's lit. Woo! Dan Soder going to be at Rhode Island Comedy Connection April 27th and 28th. Do they not call it Providence anymore? I think it's called Providence. I don't know. Is that, did I put Rhode Island? Well, their, their handles are at R.I. Comedy. Oh, okay. 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 Good. Well, Rhode Island Comedy Connection April 27th and 28th and the Loft Comedy Club in Chicopee, Massachusetts on April 29th. After that, you can catch them at the Comedy Mix in Vancouver. Great club. Great town, honestly, of uh, great comedy fans. I know you love that room, Dan. Yeah. It's May 3rd through May 5th. Make sure you check them out there for tickets and all their tour dates. Visit DanSoder.com. And uh, Season 3 of Billions Ooh. airs Sundays, 10 p.m. Watch my boy Danny Soder doing his thing, his acting thing. Oh, stop it. And, uh, of course, catch the Moon Tower. Moon Hell Tower yeah. is going to be so much fun. We're going to be there we next week. We were talking about it on the break. Uh, we were all excited. Black Lou is, I mean, he's going to the mecca of white women in America. <laughs> He can't be more excited. It's it. It's going to be lit. So we'll catch you guys next week live from the bonfire.